18-year-old Emma Sullivan uh, is refusing to apologize to Governor Sam Brownback uh, after she wrote disparaging tweets to him uh, a few days ago. So we actually... Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you telling me that a citizen of the United States of America wrote a disparaging tweet about an elected official? How dare yes. she? Uh, first of all, I can't believe she did that. You know, she should be put away in jail immediately. No, At why least is this that's, even an issue? No, it, it shouldn't be an issue. She's a high school student. She is practicing her First Amendment rights. But I guess Brownback can't deal with it, right? He, he, he's offended and he got his feelings hurt. So he actually went to, or his camp, I should say, actually went to her school and made the principal ask her to write an apology letter. That's insanity. It is insanity. Okay, first of all, what did the tweet say? All right, so the tweet said, just made mean comments about Governor Brown, uh, Brownback and told him he sucked in person. Hashtag he blows a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I already love it, okay? Uh, my sense of it is that this is democracy in action. Okay, now, is it the most mature tweet you could have made about the governor? No, yeah. okay? She's a high school student. Yeah, and what are they doing, grown-ass men, going to try to punish a teenager in high school because they didn't like her tweet? Are you telling me there's not more important things to do in the state of Kansas? It's, it drives me crazy. And you know, as a governor, you sh especially as an elected official, you should be able to take criticism and just brush it off your shoulder. Like, that's what people are going to do. They're going to criticize you. First of all, as a matter of principle, you should. No question. Right. Second of all, it's called the Constitution. Right. Of course we can criticize the governor. We can say that his policies are bad, but we can also just, so, just say he sucks. We can say it when we're 14, we can say it when we're 84. What, what business is it of, our, of theirs to tell us what we can and can't say about the governor? I mean, do we live in a democracy or what? But what's interesting is that they attacked Emma Sullivan, right? Who is a very, in my opinion, vulnerable person. She's an 18 year old, right? Mm -hmm. So an 18 year old tweets something negative about you and it's very easy to try to intimidate her, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm sure he gets criticism all the time. How come he doesn't try to stop the criticism from other people? It's because he's probably worried about getting some pushback from those individuals. But when it comes to an 18 year old, oh. Right, easy no victim. Yeah. yeah, you got no power. Easier to crush you. Right. So, uh, what's the fallout here? What What are they charging her with? I mean, does the high school actually care? Do they are they the responding? High school did care. The high school did care. They actually called her into the principal's office, and the principal told her, "Look, I want you to uh, write an apology so we can send it to the governor." And I love Emma Sullivan because she said, "Hell no! I practice my First Amendment rights." She refused to apologize. Her mother is, um, you know, behind her on this, and she basically isn't going to face any punishment because it's against the law <laughs> to punish her. right, right. Exactly. but it might go on our permanent record that's what the principal always threatens you with ah, it'll go on your permanent record that you once said something mean about governor brownback uh if i was her i would have been like oh you want a letter no problem uh quick and easy no problem here you go here's what i write to senator brownback suck it yeah <laughs> clever okay clever <laughs> okay just as clever as a teenager uh no under no circumstances should she apologize and they should get back to work, okay? Yeah. And understand uh, and perhaps read the United States Constitution.